by the floor right now. We are in Best Buy, so let's go ahead and see what we've got. It's been a while since it's been a couple weeks since I've been here. We got Blue Beetle. They don't have the steel book here. That was last week though. Meg to the trench. Haunted Mansion Transformers. A lot of the same stuff they've had the last couple of weeks. Fall. So nothing too new on this side. Let's go to the other side. They don't have any of the Violent Night Steel books, but they do have the 4K. Black Hawk Down's new this week. Hey, Cast 2 has been here for a couple weeks. Well, those were the two new releases I was hoping to get this week. Scrooge and Trading Places, but as you can see, they are not there. You have Fargo, though. Uh, it's my first time seeing this here, Friday the 13th. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that's new. My Big Factory Winning 3, eh, Swamp Thing. Over to the other new release side here. We do have Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I have that already. I'll show you that when we get home. Gran Turismo. And one copy of the Steelbook left, so... That might be tempting. So I'll hold on to that for now. American Graffiti, that's also new this week. I actually don't think I have... I think I have the re this on Blu-ray. I don't think I have the Steelbook, though, so... That might be another option, too. Scarface is in here. Schindler's List is here, though. Another option, maybe. Somebody over at the new release section, but I did find a Black Friday deal display, so they are putting these out. At least one of them out. Creed 3, Elvis, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, Dune. I think some of these are not on sale yet, but Vacation is 10 bucks. Black Adam, Rebel Without a Cause, Battlestar Galactica, Shawshank Redemption, Northman, Two Guns, Evil Dead Rise. I think this was the thing for the top here. Yeah, they're all 10 bucks. Nothing here that I really need, although that vacation one is tempting, but I think I'm going to hold off on that and wait for Black Friday for that one. But uh, at least it's good to know they have these displays here. The guy's still over there, so I'll look around the store for a little bit, then come back over. As you can see, they're getting ready. Displays are all set. 277, that's actually not bad for that. But yeah, they're getting everything ready for Black Friday, which is shockingly in less than two weeks. I forgot that this is that it's in the middle of what that's it, it's only about a couple days. It's, what am I trying to say here? It's not the last Thursday of November this year. It's the second to last Thursday in November. It's the twenty third. So, so Thanksgiving is the th second to last Thursday this this year, and Black Friday is on the twenty fourth. There, got my words right. <laughs> It's still early in the morning. Don't judge me. Yeah. Well, the display I see is just a regular 4K display. They have added some new titles here, though. Gran Turismo, The Flash, Barbie, Blue Beetle, Make 2. Nothing too spectacular or interesting. Again, Shazam's only 10 bucks, though. That is tempting to get another copy of that, but got enough copies already. Got some stuff here on the new stuff on the sides here. E.T., Good Burger. Rugrats, School of Rock, Sonic the Hedgehog, Spy Kids movies, The Star. Typical Sony stuff over here. They do have Jackie Brown, Kill Bill and Kill Bill Volume 2. All for 14 bucks. I don't know, that's kind of tempting. To, but uh, that's one I have to think about. But I'm glad to see that those are here. Got the Christmas stuff here. Nothing too crazy or new here. Elf, Christmas Story, Charlie Brown, Home Alone, The Grinch, Christmas Vacation, Into the Spider Verse, Super Mario Brothers. Again, nothing too crazy or new. John Wick. Check that out. It's like a hand drawn Mickey Mouse. Mix it. Make you through the ages. 
box was just good enough on its own, but check that out. That's a that's pretty damn cool. For 50 bucks. Again, tempting, but not today. Maybe another time, but that is pretty cool looking. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I just had to get away from the movie section because there was three old guys over there that were just walking around. around. It's just like that is it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. It's never it's never busy over there, but apparently today it is, so I just had to get away for right now. I'll go back over there in just a second, but um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to get here. I could get Gran Turismo. It's the only steelbook there, but it's $38, and I don't know. I just don't feel like I really want to spend money on this movie again. I was not the biggest fan of this film, so... I don't know. It's the last steel book, though. I usually have a thing where if it's the last steel book, I kind of, kind of obligated to get it because it probably will not be there after a while. But um, so there's that. American Graffiti is another option. I have this one on a Universal 100th Anniversary slipcover, so I don't know if I really want to upgrade this or not. Um, that's a possibility. Schindler's List. Great movie, love this movie a lot, but man, it's a, it's really one of those movies that's hard to watch after, hard to watch just because of the subject matter. I don't know if I want to get the steelbook for this, even though it is a nice looking steelbook, and again, last steelbook, I don't know, uh, I have some choices to make here, but um, I'm going to be here for a little bit, so I'll have some time to think about it. Okay, now I've got some to work with here, uh, we got some... We still got stuff like Arachnophobia, Army of Darkness, Black Adam. We got Christmas, Bloody Christmas, Cree 3, Megan, Krampus, Fat Man, Edward Scissorhands. Only four bucks. That's pretty good for that. Really good for that, I should say. Detective Night Redemption, Missing, Morbius, Silent Night, Silent Night, Dead Light Collection, Violent Night again. Nothing too new on the box set front here. Transformers the movie on Steelbook, the 4K set for 19 bucks. That's pretty good. Hunger Games set, $78.99 for that. We got the prequel coming out next week, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to go see this week. I'll deal, talk more about that at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But um, but they do have the Steelbook set here of the, origi of the original four films, $78.99. Let's see if there's anything else over here that's new. Blues Brothers, I haven't seen that in a while. Clerks 3. They're splicing in the Disney Water slip covers with the regulars movie, so I'm guessing that display's gonna be gone pretty soon. It does look like they are trying to get rid of the steel books, because now well, look now look, they're all marked down to 20 bucks each, so now's a good time to get these if you want to get your hands on these, which I would like to, at least, which I wanted to get my hands on these ever since I heard they were coming out, so I, I'm glad I got them. But again, you never know what the, you never know what, when these are actually going to go on sale or not. But all the steel books are on sale for twenty. I remember for Christmas only seven bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Fourteen. Everything else here looks like it's fourteen dollars. Got Sonic the Hedgehog here. It's a steel book set too. That's pretty interesting. Forty dollars at forty ninety nine is not a bad deal for that. Ninja Turtles, Reservoir Dogs, Quantum Mania, Two Guns. Again, nothing too crazy here. I would like to get these, but I don't know. I just don't feel like I have the urge to get these because I have all these on Blu-ray already, and I don't know if I really want to double dip on all these just for the slip cover. I have some decisions to make here. Alright, so like I said a couple weeks ago, my goal is from now until they actually stop selling physical media to get something here at Best Buy, but I'm not really seeing a whole lot here that I have to really get. Like, none of these right here I have to really get, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually going to get anything today. I don't really have anything here that I see that I really desperately need to have. Like, these are not stuff that I really need to have right now. I don't know. I think I'm going to come out of here empty today. Yeah, I ended up not getting anything. Uh, there's just nothing in there that I really needed to get. I mean, 
I could have gotten Gran Turismo, but I didn't like that movie a whole lot, so me spending $38 on a movie that I wasn't really too happy about, even though it was the last steelbook, I didn't think it was worth it. I could have gotten American Graffiti, I could have gotten Schindler's List, but I already had them. I didn't really feel the need to upgrade those to steelbook on either one of them, so... So I don't know, but um, could have gotten Jackie Brown, could have gotten the Kill Bill movies, but I didn't really feel the need to get those because I already had them already, and just to get the just to get the, the sleeker slipcover that seems kind of pointless. But um, but um, yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know what what's going on with me today. Like I thought I made a promise to myself that as long as Best Buy still had that movie section, I was going to get try to get at least one movie every week, but. Today we today so far has been unsuccessful. Now I'm still going to be up here for a little bit, so I might go back over there later on if I don't find anything else today. Day while I'm walking around, but the two things I was really looking for, and I thought they were going to have it, Scrooge and Trading Places, they weren't in there. So we have Barnes and Noble over here, so that's another ch chance there. But I get the feeling they're probably not going to have it. But um, yeah, not off to the best start here for the day, but uh, we do still have a lot of things to do. I'm going to see the Marvels later today, which opened yesterday. Not getting the best... Re it's getting a mixed reaction. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Um, it's going to be a very interesting where I fall on that spectrum, because I wasn't a big Captain Marvel fan, but I'm not a big hater like a lot of people are are with Captain Marvel. I just didn't think the first movie was not that gr was not a great film overall, but it was still somewhat fun. So I'm hoping that this one is fun too. But um, that's going to be later today. But like I said, like we always do, we still have some time. I'm going to go inside the mall here and uh, head to my next destination. Got the Christmas decorations up. Alright, off to my next destination for the day, Barnes & Noble. I think the Criterion Collection sale is going on right now, 50% off, so hoping that I can find something in there. If not, let's hope I can find those two movies that I'm looking for in here. Like I said, I doubt they're going to be in here, but we'll see. So like I said, the Criterion Collection sale is going on right now. Let's see if they got anything over here that I don't already have. What about over here? Nope. I got the section right here, so I'll look around, see if there's anything I need. And nothing over here. I saw a couple of. Th I saw one here. I don't know if I bought one false move the last time I, they had the sale or not, but um, I think that one. I don't know. I think that one came out after the sale ended, but I don't know if I got it then or what. But July twenty fifth. It was in July, I think. I don't know, I'll have to look when I get home, but yeah, I didn't see anything over here. I thought that I thought there might have been a newer release that is that came out that came out before the one I was thinking of. The no the one of I think the one I'm looking for is the last picture show, but that doesn't come out until next week, so Yeah, I'm not seeing anything over here. Well they have trading places, but it's not the trading places I'm looking for. Yeah, this is definitely slim pickings today. Uh, there's another new thing that I saw this week. South Park, the complete 26th season. I actually bought this already through Amazon. So that and also the streaming wars, but I don't see that over here. So I'll show you that when we get home. $19.99 for that. No, nothing in Barnes & Noble either. Today is not starting off on a good day, but... um. There is kind of a reason why I'm holding back on making purchases right now, and again, I'll, I'll, just I'll talk about it later when we get home, but um, there is a reason why I'm not making too many purchases right now, if any, today, so. But, uh, like I said, the day is still young, so we will see what happens. Got Santa's station getting ready to go. They don't have a thing on top like they usually do. I'm wondering if that, that's going to come later on or not, but the train station is open. And so is the movie theater, so let's go head on over to see the Marvels. Alright, 0 for 2 on the day so far, but this place usually comes along when it's all said and done. 
see if Half Price Books has anything in particular. Well, that was a wasted trip. Uh, literally nothing. Uh, nothing that I really needed. Saw a couple of things I thought about getting. They had an unopened ET videotape from 1996 that I could have tried to sell. But uh, that was $4. And then they had The Secret of Nim, the two disc set in there for $6. But um, just couldn't pull the trigger on them. So, 0 for 3 on the day. So, uh, yeah. Not off to a good... St this is looking like it's going to be a letdown kind of a day in terms of getting new stuff. But, um, you know what? I'm okay with that. I have some stuff that came in the mail last week. So, I'll show that off to you at the end of the video. But, um... We gotta see if we can find something here. I I don't feel co comfortable going out and not getting anything, so I might head back over to Best Buy real quick. But uh, we'll see how that transpires. I have to check in on my buddy George. How you doing tonight, pal? And just like that, we're back home after a somewhat of a disappointing day in terms of not getting anything anywhere. Um, but uh, like I said before, there are reasons because of this. Um, number one... Um, I'm currently dealing with a little bit of financial issues right now in terms of a bill that I had to pay for, pay off. Um, uh, something went wrong on the front of the is something went wrong last month with the usual way I usually pay off a specific bill. Uh, they took away a feature of mine that I usually like to go to. So what ended up happening was that I ended up paying somebody else's bill by a by accident. So. I had to basically repay last month's bill, and now I gotta pay this month's bill, which actually ends today. But, um, so, um, yeah, I, it's, I still don't know how much I'm gonna have to get back from what I, from what I had to pay last month, because, because I had paid off somebody else, my family's bill, on something else in particular. So that's one of the reasons why, uh, I didn't get, is I'm kinda being careful with my money right now. Uh, two, uh, mostly, uh, we've got a, um, mostly because we have an event. There's an event that's going to be happening tomorrow at the mall, at the mall that I'm going to be taking part in. It's a to it's a little toy show, so um, uh, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't really need it. And for most of all, like I said before, I didn't really feel like I needed to get anything today. I don't know why. I just didn't have that urge to like really get something. There was nothing at the, anywhere I went to that I really needed to get my hands on or had to have in my collection. Um, but um, yeah, like I said, there was nothing really that I needed to get. So I basically am saving money right now until A, I can figure out the bill, the situation with my bill, and uh, B, how much is how much we're actually going to make at the show that we're doing tomorrow. But um, uh, that's why I didn't really buy a whole lot today. But um, we did have a productive day overall. I did go see the Marvels, which I actually really did enjoy. I actually would say that it's actually better than Captain Marvel is. Um... Uh, Captain Marvel was just an okay film, honestly, but uh, I heard a lot of people really bad-mouthing this film to begin with from the very beginning, but honestly, the, the more the positive reactions came out, the more I got a little bit more optimistic about it, and I finally went to go see it. It was actually a lot of fun. Not a whole lot of... It's, not everything about it works, and I'll definitely delve into that in my review, which, because I'm doing this thing tomorrow, I'm going to actually record this tonight after I do time about the movie, so it'll be recorded tonight, but it will be up tomorrow on that front, um, but, um, so, uh, I did get a couple of things from this past week that I'm going to show off to you here, nothing too spectacular, but the big new releases that I had to get my hands on this week were, of course, the South Park DVDs, uh, South Park, the complete 26th season, and also South Park, the streaming wars, which I did not see anywhere today, it was not at Barnes & Noble, it wasn't at Best Buy, um, 
not my favorite of the South Park movies they've done for Paramount Plus. Uh, Post COVID and Return of COVID, I thought were the best ones. This one started off really slow. Another turn around in the second half of it, but um, second part, I should say. But um, yeah, this is not one of my favorite version South Park specials they've done so far. But Randy as Karen, that was great. That's the best thing about this, honestly. But, um, yeah, so I got these. These were the two big new releases I wanted to pick up this week. And then last week's big new release I finally got in the mail today. Mission Impossible Dead... Uh, actually, I had it since last Monday. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, the steelbook, with that great shot of the train scene from the end of the movie. It was actually my favorite action sequence in the film. Now, you'll notice that there's pl still plastic on except for here. I guess they took out the digital code for it. But uh, I don't really want to open this and get this all damaged and all until I can actually get a steelbook protector for this, so that's why I'm that's why this isn't open just all the way through. But um, I only paid twenty bucks for this after the discounts that I ha got from my stuff that I sold on Mercari. So it was really forty five on the w one person I went to, but uh, I marked down to twenty. So I basically paid much less for what I would have had to pay for in the store. I think in stores it was like thirty six dollars. I think, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, so this is going to be added to the Mission Impossible collection and. Um, that's pretty much it right there. That's everything I got this past week. Now, I have some other stuff coming, but of course today is Veterans Day. Uh, happy Veterans Day to you people out there. If if there are any veterans out there watching this video, I don't know why you would be, but uh, thank you for your service. But um, uh, because the mailboxes, weren't, the mailboxes aren't open today or tomorrow, uh, the stuff that I would have gotten today probably from Best Buy won't be coming until... At the very least, it's Monday. So that'll be on the next Movie Stop episode, which I should also point out that on Thursday, that's when this new episode of Movie Stop is going to be because I'm going to the pit, is I'm going to the last pit game of the season against Boston College. It's a Thursday night game, so we're going to be downtown. I'll get some footage for that. But also because next Saturday I have to work, and because I took that because I took that day off, I guess I'm, they're gonna make me work Saturday, which I'm not looking forward to. If you work in a grocery store, the week before Thanksgiving usually is a very, very, very rough time to work somewhere. Yeah, like I said, I mean you just have to just do. I mean it's a really tough stretch the week of Thanksgiving if you work in retail in general but in grocery it's very hard to do because you have to be the person has to bring everything out for everyone's holiday meals and all that and it gets very frustrating at times it definitely is very it can put a lot of stress on you and I've done this long enough to know that I get stressful a lot around that time but uh yeah that it's it's um I'm personally not gonna enjoy it but it's my paying job, and as much as I would like this to be my, my paying job one day, my real job comes first, so you gotta do what you gotta do, so that's why uh, this movie stop that's coming up this week will be pushed to Thursday, and so it will be up on Thursday instead of on Saturday, because I'm not gonna be able to do that, which means that, I, uh, sadly, I'm not gonna be able to go see Hunger Games or Trolls Band together next week as much as I wanted to, but it's gonna have to wait for another week, but um, I'll work it out, I mean, I mean... I mean, this schedule is going to get jumbled up anyway so over the next week or so. So, um, like I said, I'll work through it, but um, and work it out through through here. And either way, you're going to get content from me every single day, so it doesn't really matter what happens. But um, just to, just be aware that this week's movie stop will be on Thursday instead of Saturday. So, uh, so anyway, with that said, uh, thank you guys for watching this. And uh, by the way, the 300th episode is going to continue on. I should mention that, but uh, I don't think I'm going to have something for this week or next week. But um, it will is we will continue on with the Blu-ray DVD collection uh, is in the next couple of weeks. So uh, I haven't forgotten about that. Uh, this is epi this is actually episode 299, which is what, what should have been in between 298 and 300. But um, uh, timing just worked out so I could get the, to the Blu-ray collection last week. So uh, if you want to go check those videos out, by the way, click the link and or go to the next page. But um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, uh, which will be probably in a couple minutes once I post it, once I upload this and go on to the next video that I have to do. I have three videos I got to do tonight. Got through the first one, two more to go. So with that said, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care.